On Golden Pond is a 1979 play by Ernest Thompson. The plot focuses on aging couple Ethel and Norman Thayer, who spend each summer at their home on a lake called Golden Pond. During the year the story takes place, they are visited by daughter Chelsea with her fiancé Billy Ray and his son Billy Ray Jr. The play explores the often turbulent relationship the young woman shared with her father growing up, and the difficulties faced by a couple in the twilight years of a long marriage. Synopsis Act the 1st of May Norman and Ethel arrive at the summer house, finding it in need of repairs. There are hints that Norseman is having problems with his memory. June Norman makes a nominal effort to find a job in the classified ads, to Ethel's chagrin. The mailman, Charlie, stops by and reminisces about the Thayer's daughter, Chelsea, whom he used to date. A letter arrives from Chelsea saying that she is coming from California with her boyfriend Bill to celebrate Norman's 80th birthday. It becomes clearer that Norman is struggling with memory loss, as he continues to forget names and places that should be familiar. July Chelsea arrives with Bill Ray and his 13-year-old son, Billy Ray Jr. Chelsea asks her parents if Billy Jr. can stay with them while she and Bill go to Europe. Norman and Ethel agree to keep Billy Jr. Act the 2nd of August Norman and Billy Jr. have become friends and spend much of their time fishing. Chelsea returns and reveals that she and Bill are now married. Ethel shows her impatience with Chelsea's habit of bitterly harping on the past. Chelsea confronts her father about their troubled relationship, and the two have a reconciliation. September Norman and Ethel are packing to leave for the winter. Chelsea calls, and they agree to go visit her in California. Norman seems to suffer a heart attack, but recovers, and the pair leave their home along Golden Pond. Productions after five previews, the first Broadway production, directed by Craig Anderson, set and costume design by Stephen Rubin, and lighting design by Craig Miller, opened on February 28, 1979 at the New Apollo Theater, where it ran for 126 performances. The cast was Tom Aldredge, Francis Sternhagen, Ron Carroll, Barbara Andress, Mark Bendo, and Stan Lachov. After a summer break, it reopened with the same cast on September 12 at the Century Theatre, a small playhouse in the basement of the Paramount Hotel, where it ran for an additional 256 performances. Ben Slack replaced Ron Carroll during the course of the run at the Century Theatre. After 19 previews, a Broadway revival with an African-American cast directed by Leonard Fogliar and produced by Jeffrey Finn opened on April 7, 2005 at the Court Theatre, where it ran for 93 performances. James Earl Jones and Leslie Uggams headed the cast. Jones, who often was ill during the runs, eventually was diagnosed with pneumonia, forcing the production to a sudden close. Michael learned and Tom Bosley starred in a 20607 bus national tour produced by Finn. Jack Kludgeman headlined a 2008 tour. 2013, Lace Market Theatre, Nottingham, United Kingdom. Adaptations the play was adapted for the screen written by Thompson in 1981. The film on Golden Pond was released in December 1981, directed by Mark Riddle and produced by Bruce Gilbert with Henry Fonda, Catherine Hepburn and Jane Fonda in the starring cast. In 2001, CBS aired a live television adaptation of the play that was heavily publicized in the press due to the reunion of the former Sound of Music stars Julie Andrews and Christopher Plummer in the lead roles. It also starred Glenna Headley. Nominations 1979 Production Tony Award for Best Actress in a Play Drama Desk Award for Outstanding New Play Drama Desk Award for Outstanding Actor in a Play Drama Desk Award for Outstanding Actress in a Play Drama Desk Award for Outstanding Costume Design Drama Desk Award for Outstanding Set Design 1979 Selection The Burns Mantle Theatre Yearbook The Best Plays of 1978-1979 
2005 Production Tony Award for Best Revival of a Play, Tony Award for Best Actor in a Play.